Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your How Will You Find Love reading. This is a new series that I'm working on, so um, if you like it, let me know. Leave me a comment down below in uh, the comment section. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, Gemini, is we're going to pull from some tarot, and then I've got a few different oracle cards over here to try to get a little bit more detail in regards to your journey to finding love. So let's get started this is for gemini this is for gemini gemini you can now follow me on instagram facebook twitter and now TikTok. and i will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box all right gemini this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Gemini. This is for Gemini. How will Gemini find love? How will Gemini find love? Okay. Okay. Alright. So I feel like... I feel like there's someone from your past that is heavily on your mind here and vice versa. I feel your path to finding love is making peace with a past person. The two of you are watching each other, okay? So this may be a little bit different of a read for you, Gemini, but this is what I am seeing. So um, this may not resonate with all of you especially for those of you that are like absolutely no past people if that's the case then this isn't going to be your reading all right so i just want to be very clear on that because i do see a past person i see you not being able to get over somebody that you care about and vice versa they can't get over you either we're watching they're watching you you're watching them so um, I do feel like uh, lines of communication are going to be opening up. I do feel like um, there was a lot of anger here between the two of you and maybe some angry words and things just kind of fell apart. But I do see um, you still feel um, committed to this person and they still feel committed to you as well. Page of Wands, that is fire energy. Um, I feel like communication is going to start back up between you and this individual. All right, so Gemini, um, like I said, you, you still I see a future here with this person and they still see it as well. Um, so Ten of Cups, right? You still feel connected to this person, committed to this person. Um, I And it's it's kind of you kind of mirror each other i feel in regards to this reading so i got the ten of cups here happy family happy home i feel like you still have hope that things are going to work out here between you and this individual and they hope so too all right so i feel like with this you you still want this so the kind of love you need is the kind of love that you had before things went bad between you and this person it was good it that it was your your friend your lover somebody that you could see a future with somebody that you you know could see as being your forever love and they they felt it too but something happened here to to rock the situation um it could have been outside influences it could have been addiction it could have something toxic here came into play but it did not stop the love and it did not stop, you know, the wanting to be with each other. So this has been a very difficult uh, journey with this person. But it's like a love story that is going to be continue to, to be written, um, Gemini. So 
this person, this is the block. You can't get over this individual. You still care about them and vice versa. They still care about you. You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. You still love them. They still love you. So it's really hard to let go of this, the thought of, you know, not be not being in a in, in in a relationship with this person it's hard and it's hard for them too so male or female does not matter um it's coming through as water i just feel like it, there's still emotion here there's still love here on both sides and i do feel like you're you're watching each other here but there's somebody one of you is going to have to go from I'm watching to actual communication. There needs to be communication here between you and this person, okay? So, and not immature communication. It has to be heartfelt. It has to be deep. Not angry communication. It has to be a meaningful conversation so that um, we can get on track here. So you're going to may have to show your vulnerable side. Um, if, if, you know, you want this, and I feel like you do for those of you that are still, you know, thinking about this person, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. I feel balance. I feel making peace. I feel reconnecting. I feel patience. I feel calmness here. So I feel like you're going to reconnect with this person and hopefully things will get back on track. But it, there has to be a very deep and vulnerable and meaningful conversation between the two of you. Both of you have to kind of bear your soul to each other because you mean a lot to each other. It's very evident here. Please clarify that temperance card for Gemini. Please clarify. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So I feel like this person is still willing. They're still there. They're still waiting, Gemini, to put work into the situation. They want to nurture it. They want success here. So I just feel with this Queen of Wands energy, there was a lot of anger right a lot of anger between the two of you and i feel like you know that passion came out but without without love there can't they can there can be no hate there can be no anger right we got to really really love somebody and i feel like there was a lot of love here between the two of you can it be saved i feel like it can somebody needs to get their confidence up in a in order to be able to speak genuinely from their heart speak from the depths of their soul that's what's needed to save this situation gemini all right so let's try to get a little bit more detail here for you gemini and see what's going on this is your twin flame so that's why it's difficult this is a twin flame situation very soulful very connected spiritual connection here so yeah if i could talk right so that's why it's a, it's a it's a bit of a difficult journey all right so let's see what other information we can find here for you gemini This is for Gemini. Guarded. Okay, so this is speaking of two people that's got to let that guard down and have a very deep, soulful conversation. This is what this is about. This is exactly what I was saying here. So you got to be open and vulnerable. Not, not only you, but them as well. And, and get the guard down from your heart and just just get it out. Pour it out there. All right. So first let's do the Zodiac card. So these are all 12 of the Zodiac. So I'm going to pull one and see what Zodiac sign is going to play a significant role in this journey for love for Gemini. I got Pisces. 
this could be speaking of, you know, you need to kind of embrace this water energy for the both of you to speak freely about your emotions and not be so guarded. Um, Pisces people can do that very easily. Um, but you could be dealing with a Pisces. A past person could be a Pisces that, you know, kind of pushed you into the situation. Um, this could be, you know, um, somebody, a friend or an advisor that is a little bit more emotion, in tune with their emotions that can give you some advice on, you know, how to be emotionally vulnerable right uh, you could have strong pisces in your chart they could have strong pisces in theirs um this person that you're dealing with this twin flame the soulful connection so um a lot of different things here but i do feel like bottom line this is speaking of the emotion that needs to be exchanged between the two of you because pisces uh, has no problem um with with the emotional side um so tapping into the emotions and and being able to speak it all right so months of the year let's see what month is going to play a significant role we have the month of june so this keeps coming up and um i feel like maybe three different zodiacs have gotten this and everybody's like, oh my God, I gotta wait till June. No, this isn't what that means. This could be um, something significant happening in the month of June. Since this is a past person for you, Pisces, or this is a continuing situation, maybe you know you already know what this is. Like maybe it was your first kiss, your first dance, your first date, your anniversary, something like that. Um, but you know, may. June plays a significant role here. Maybe, you know, for some of you, this is, it's going to take this long to get your courage up to really speak from the heart to each other. And that, that could be, right? That could be, um, Gemini. I hope I'm not saying Pisces over and over again. I keep seeing Pisces. All right, Gemini, that is your reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so this this is a love story that's going to continue to be written. That's what I see. Um, so like I said, I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. But this being like a past person, it's 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 it is for who it's supposed to be, you know, for whoever hears this, it's meant for you to hear it. That's how I see it. All right. All right, uh, Gemini, that's what we've got going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, Gemini, what else? Um, let's see. I think that's about it um, for those of you new to the channel welcome I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule the weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released and the live schedule I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time you guys have a great week and you take very good care of yourself and I will talk to you all very soon take care and God bless